the difference between mock and spy. So mock is pretty much trying to be interface. When you mock an object, you get its interface pretty much. You don't see the body of the code. So whenever you run a mock method, you can only get a return statement if you specify, you know, um, uh, person dot run dot then returns true or something. You have to say what it equals to. What's the return object? You, the code within the method isn't run. Now with spying, you get the benefits of using mocks with like Makito when and Makito verify, for example. But also, you get to actually have the actual class. So the whole class is running. The body of the class is running. The constructor is running. Everything's running. And um, uh, the problems with Android for spying is that you can't have any Android code within the methods because it's, it's just going to crash. It's not going to really work. That's why we use M Model View Presenter Interactor to kind of push the Android code towards the Interactor set of things, so you can actually mock the the Interactor and not actually run the Android code within the interact within the Interactor. So this is pretty much kind of what the mock sees. Now th this is a perfect science, but this is like a basic understanding of what the mock sees. It doesn't see the body; it just sees the methods and the parameters and the return statement so you can manipulate that here's what the spy sees it sees everything so it's pretty much just a regular class and you can also change the return object as well after it's run so right now as you can see right now um, spy run, runs the code within the method and a mock runs the method but ignores the body and those are the difference of mocking and spying.